human centricity. We have to talk about it at conferences because we are very bad at doing it. Because modern life is a constant tension, a constant tension between the pace and the demands on us and our personal well being. Now we're not sure what's important. What are the things? that are important for our survival. And on top of that, we have so much demand on our time and our attention. So it was a remarkable time. And I truly believe that this new world, this world of social media, this world of technology was going to be a revolution, a revolution for all that is good in the world. But in truth, by 2015, the shine was already coming off. Entire nations were suddenly being polarized socially, politically, and through the pandemic, even medically. So now we stand at the dawn of AI, artificial intelligence. <clears throat> and honestly, we ask ourselves the question, are we even ready? And through it all, we are seeing the rise of very real and very personal problems. Depression, anxiety, general mental disturbance, and of course, toxic hustle culture has made it worse. The truth is that being happy is not important for survival. From a physical genetic point of view, happiness is not part of the equation. You are far more likely to survive if you were nervous and anxious and very concerned about what might hurt you in the environment. So we've traded fear about shelter and food for fear about gadgets and likes. From the standpoint of your ancestors, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, great-great-great-great-grandparents, you are living the life they could only dream of. If they could see the life you live now, they would have believed the sacrifices they made in the hard times they lived through were worth it. So if you can maneuver through your own life with a mind that is tranquil, you may just be in the right frame of mind to see more opportunities. The best tool you have in the turbulence of the world of artificial intelligence, which we hear a lot about today, is your natural reason. The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. So you should be worrying and focusing only on what you can control. Your mind is the only thing you completely own. Your choices are what give you control in your life. Your mind is shaped by what you think, and your actions are shaped, will follow from what you think. And your character is shaped by your action. Comparison, delay, and instant gratification. Comparison and instant gratification are honestly two of the great technological diseases. And if we can break these two habits, we will do wonders for our personal well-being. So to sum all of this up, you control very little of what happens around you. But you have complete control of your own mind and how you choose to respond to whatever happens in your life. Humans have to be at the heart of our technological advances. This is why we're here. Generative AI for inclusion, human centric solutions. But perhaps to find human centric solutions, we have to be better humans. We've got to be doing better at this ourselves. Artificial intelligence is always going to need our natural reason. There has never been a greater time to do great things than right now. The possibilities of what you can do, the great things you can do are far greater with a mind that is at peace with itself. The human experience is not a battle that you have to win. It's a constant process. It's a pendulum that always swings from the light to the dark. You must not forget, we must not forget that we are human beings. Good luck.